third year in a row, we're partnering with the Kansas and Missouri National Education Associations to surprise teachers across the metro with $1,000. Before we talk about Read to Achieve, let's talk about education funding in Kansas. It has faced years of wrangling over policy and funding for public schools. Where does it stand now and what are the biggest challenges when it comes to Kansas schools in the future? Well, as you know, Kansas schools have faced uh, multiple years of inadequate funding uh, affirmed by the Kansas Supreme Court. And uh, we look forward to uh, slightly uh, larger amount of funding this year. What are some of the things that Kansas schools desperately need in order to help these students learn right now? Students come to us with many needs and challenges and you need to have a, a highly qualified educator in each classroom and you need to have the team that it takes to make that student achieve the most that they can achieve in, in their schooling. So you need cooks, custodians, bus drivers, you need ed, um, educational support professionals, highly qualified administrators, uh, nurses, uh, and school counselors. The KNEA has been a huge supporter for Kansas teachers for more than 150 years. What does the future look like now for KNEA? Kansas NEA will, has lobbied for 155 years for Kansas public schools and Kansas public teachers and students, and we will continue to do just that because we want our students to have the best opportunity that they can in a Kansas public school. Why is it so important to you that Kansas schools take part in Read to Achieve, particularly when it comes to rewarding these teachers who their life's work is spent helping these children? As a high school science teacher, I know the importance of, uh, of uh, what our, our elementary teachers do each and every day in uh, making sure that the students can read. And that skill is a lifelong skill that our students need to be successful in life. And it goes beyond literacy. It's the comprehending, it's the reading of the different genres. It's these teachers that are being awarded this money really celebrate that in their day-to-day -day work with these children. As we've went out and awarded the thousand dollar checks and it's been a really fun time to put a smile on a teacher's face mm -hmm. but what we hear time and time and again is that the teachers will spend this money on their students and their classroom and, and that really show, goes to show the dedication that our teachers have for the kids in their classrooms. And a lot of the teachers spend their personal money on their supplies so that must feel good to be able to give them a thousand dollars and they can spend it any way they want they don't have to spend it back on their school supplies if they want to use it for massages or manicures or to take their wife out on a date or what have you they can do whatever they want with that money right they can do what, what whatever they want but yeah. when we ask them what they're going to do they always say the first thing out of their mouth is something for their kids in their classroom god love them yes well this is a great program we are really looking forward to another year of celebrating stellar teachers in the state of Kansas. Nominate your child's teacher for Read to Achieve today. Go to KCTV5.com. Under the News tab, click on Read to Achieve for the entry form. Complete rules are on KCTV5's contest page.